In this case, can I say that uh, I need to leave at quarter to two? So I would ideally like to leave up to if it's at all. Okay. Well, we'll wrap it through this thing. Okay, great. Right. right. So no discussion then. No, no, <laughs> I just say agreed. <laughs> Let's go with it. Right. I can go out at two and go and put the parking on my car. Right, we'll work with that. Okay. So, there's not a huge amount on the agenda. Yeah. And other things can be dealt with offline as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay so. Are we ready or on? Okay, yep. right. Welcome, everybody, to this uh, meeting, uh, June meeting of the Mini Kitchen Strategy Group. Welcome, everybody. Um, first item on the agenda is election of chair, the chair committee for this coming year. I am happy to stand down. I was going to nominate John Harvey, please. Okay. Is that second? Yes, I'm second. Yeah. That's why you need three people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are there any other nominations? All right. Don't break it for your support, and that makes me chair. Really. Thank you very much. <laughs> right. <clears throat> okay, so election of vice chair. Um, in Martin's absence, is the vice chair. And is anybody here would like to be vice chair? Um, no, I'll nominate Martin if he wants to do it. Well, we assume that he will. We'll okay, in that, that case, I that. second that. Okay, all right. We'll vote for Martin to be vice chair. Let's the nominations. No, okay, fine. Thank you, vice chair. Thank you. Okay, apologies for absence. We received apologies for absence from Margaret. Yeah, that's okay. We haven't received apologies for absence from Martin. We'll double check. But double right check. Right but maybe there's something on the kind of ether somewhere. Okay, right. Uh, any declarations on given past? No, not really. Meeting notes of be. our last meeting was, well, this one was here, isn't it? Yeah. There so were two here. Oh, there were two here, that's right. Um, Thursday, 13th of April. Right. Oh, it's so we've done that already. 13th of April. Um, any things that need to be changed at all? That was informal, so they don't need something. Oh, right, right. I don't know. Yeah. 8th of June, 21st, was it? Yeah. Okay, right. I'll sign these other ones as well as well. Okay. Oh. Yeah. We put it on the screens. Yes. Right, you're going to need other glasses for that. Right, these are glasses for this focal length. I need these glasses. Or that focal length. Although I've got it on my band here. Sounds like you need very focals. No, I don't want very focals. I'm sure I've my feet if I have very focals. <laughs> okay. Um, I've had a look through this. I think it looks yes, great. And the one that's on camera, I just oh, made right. a bunch of small changes. Let me just get that. Oh, well, changes um, to this. We just made a couple of small changes since this draft, um, just because we had more information about some things. Okay. And so I thought if I, you can look at this one and then that one is. Okay. Me. Just tell us what changes were. Um, I think we looked at the photos on the front. So we've got some, I've got some photos from, um, uh, because for the arts in the market, we've now got a street artist coming, so that's one of their photos. Oh, okay. And maybe we could swap out then the painting on with something else. We haven't had confirmation yet of which comedian we'll have for the comedy night. Okay. If we do get confirmation before tomorrow when it goes to print, we'll swap out the photo of them. That's fine. That's fine. That's good. And nice photographic people. Oh, oh here's Martin. Hello, Martin. Hi, Hi Martin. You're vice chair again, by the way. <laughs> and I thought I would leave it that long. Yeah. Uh, Did you get my email? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. You got me now. Just Sorry, wait. Louise is not wearing glasses to look cool. Or it does look cool. She looks because, very cool. Um, because the other ordinary glasses were. Important information just to get you wondering. Yeah. <laughs> we're just used to having good hair ones, though. I said I'm not going to get a haircut. Okay, right. 
We are up to a uh, fringe brochure. We're looking at it. So, right, so we're looking at the photographs. They may change a little bit. So they might, the photographs might change a little bit. If there's anything particular, definitely, you didn't like them there, but they need to change. Can I? Yeah, I don't like. I only like the one on the right. I don't like the other two. I think they're not interesting enough, and there's not they're not vibrant enough. What the people standing around the public basketball? We could try and find them. It's too big. It's not that interesting for it to be that big. Yeah. It's a fair point. Um, we so, could think about having more small pictures and then a big picture. We just have one yeah, picture. You've got some swan trail pictures there, haven't we? We do have some swan trail pictures. Let's pick that picture up. Yeah, so I think either make the size of the men standing smaller and then add a, a larger, more interesting picture on top. Mm -hmm. I do like the warlocks thing. Mm -hmm. That looks colourful, interesting. Yeah. So yeah, I would change the size of the what is it basketball? basketball. Yeah, the size of the basketball picture, <laughs> and then just change the painting picture. Okay. That looks kind of a bit stock imagey. I know, despite the fact it's a real photo. Mm. <laughs> it is one of ours, but that's fine. So I quite like that idea of maybe we do a few smaller pictures, and mm. then that leaves a space for one other big. Yeah, you could, you could have something like a kind of um, perhaps this one, the big one, a, a tableau, or maybe I don't know, maybe four or even nine, this or something arranged to give a sense of the diversity of of fringe week. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That's That's cool. okay. Any other comments about the? I like your message, by the way. Yeah, it's nice. Well, what did I say? <laughs> was it that long ago? I assume you wrote it. Um, yeah, I'm sure I did, but I've written so, it twice. So much. It was AI. <laughs> People like Bethany or Louise or somebody often, can we have a quote for this? And then I throw something out and then I, uh, yes. I forget. So I had forgotten that I'd said something about this, but uh, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Was there any um, spelling and grammar things anyone noticed on this side of it? Nothing jumps out. All right. I'd, I'd say check with Barbara. She's, <laughs> she's always really good at spotting those sort of time codes, but I didn't, there's nothing that. Yeah. Yeah. It's got changes that we have on this side. I think I am. Um... Yeah, I think I found a different photo over here um, and also made this clearer. So, uh, this is for adults and children. This is a workshop. Anyone can do Okay. Okay. Um, we added the free logos as well. And yeah. The free. We've added those just to make clear which ones are completely free to do. So, it's not, the, so it's not a play production, it's a workshop. It's a workshop, and then you can take part mm -hmm. in the play at the end of the day. Oh, wow. Right. It's a really nice format, very sort of in your face and, you know, get to grips with it. And this is the same background we've got for the, ban the new fringe banners because we had to replace the old ones, they were dead. Oh, okay. So that, okay. we've got that background on those as well. Can I ask for the theatre workshop, do people have to book in advance? No, they can just turn up, so maybe we could make that text yeah. clearer, but they can yeah. just turn up on the day. Is there a QR code for more information or a website? Because people might have questions like the rules is had. I'm sure. We can have that. And also, you don't have it. Yeah. 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 So on, on that version, you can see we've added a little free. Um, it would be easy to see if it's print in front of you, but yeah. <laughs> a little Flash. sort of free slash. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, just to make it really clear which ones are completely free. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I think, think that would be good. And I like the fact you put in some logos for Alex Angels and Salvation Army and Students Union. Yeah. And the Oxford yeah, Union. this it's page. Nice to have those. It works really well. Yeah. I think it's very successful. Yeah. Mm. I think it's a good, I think it's a better fringe. Yeah. Than we've had before. Yeah, I definitely. Really good. It was quite nice to have the opportunity to do it from scratch and yeah. rethink how we wanted it to look. And, um, at the bottom where we've got the Buckingham and Bloom judging as well, we're going to change that slightly. It will include that we're also doing a calendar photo contest for the calendar again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that will be split between the two contests. Quite a lot of information too. There is a lot of information yeah. and it's possible that there'll be things that 
don't go on here because we have to get a print on Friday that we'll end up being part of the week. Okay, well, what we need to make sure is that there's an easy link yeah, to get yeah. to more information on the website and put that somewhere yeah. near yeah. the top saying more information about all these events, blah, 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 blah somewhere. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, it's a very good job on that page. Yeah, yeah. Okay, move on, folks. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. that okay, well done. Okay, existing right. work check. Go just, on, just um, maybe not now or for this one, but is it getting to a time where we don't have to put the word scan this QR code? It's scanning so momentum again. And people just sort of know what to do with it. They don't go, what the heck is these load of dots here? There was previously a decision by this committee that we would make sure we explained it every time. Oh, okay. Fair point. I do think maybe we do that for say a year and then we start dropping off doing that again if we're confident that people are yeah, true. Well, fair point. Yeah, yeah, okay. If there's I mean, we weren't short space. I was just thinking, you know, there's a lot of them out now. But there are still lots of elderly people around. That's true. So, yeah. In fact, there's a typo. It says cameras, not cameras. It's actually fucking up a little. Yeah. Thank oh, yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay. All right. We'll move it on then. Development of the website. We were all tasked to look at the only at the Buckingham New Buckingham website, not look at the Discover Buckingham one. Um, that's when we need to come back to that and see what else has got any comments. I submitted some comments which you saw because I emailed everybody around. Yeah. Things that might need to change or be reviewed. <clears throat> any other comments we could give? We're going to try and finish this fairly early and quickly, Martin, because Andy's got to go. But um, if there are some comments you think that might be need discussion, raise them now or else email Bethany and Louise. With those comments to take them on board. And we'd like to raise anybody else. So I've been emailing already. You've been emailing already. For weeks on weeks. I need to have another book <laughs> and then if I She's a good time. Good copy of Feel feel good to copy as well. No, there was no need. It was in the early days. Um, some of some of the things Martin picked up I haven't been able to work on yet. Okay. All right. It's the been a very busy month. I'm just gonna listen. Okay. Back holidays. Uh, no, we slapping wrists here. <laughs> um, but there's, so there's little bits there, and you picked up things. Mm -hmm. um, but how did the um, past mayor's uh, dates that you you know got? You know, it's gone. So when they were when they were put up, which <coughs> I was on and it was redone. Don't know why those dates haven't gone because they it's were right. So just. I will make an interesting sort of. I think what's happening is what it should be. Mike was there for two years, then you know, one year, and everything else has got due yeah. back. Yeah, I so think this will happen. That was, <clears throat> that, I've seen it early before the meeting, and, and I have what it should be, but it hasn't transferred over from when they did it. So I'll just make sure that it, okay. I edit it. Okay. And that gets, yeah. We can that's fixable. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, folks, okay. we'll, we'll and ditto for Discover Buckingham. Put that on the agenda for next time as well. Mm -hmm. I think both both is on the agenda this time and we'll revisit them. It's also a prompt for me and maybe for other people too to keep it keep it under review and keep it on the agenda. Mm -hmm. Um do we I mean do, do we ever get any feedback from members of the town to say we've got so oh, or this link doesn't work or something to you? Yeah. It usually happens. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, not very often. We did have someone query something on the history of the mayor okay. page fairly recently, and ended up making a change. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, okay. Not very well, may I ask in a um, polite way? Do you like the back end of the of the uh, website? Yes. Because that's the <laughs> reason for doing it. Yes. Yeah. There's lots of things you know. that are much easier so for example i've just reloaded everyone's register of interest yeah and the process for doing that now it's not that i have to go and find the old one and delete it and then load the new one the links and blah 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 right. i can just go to where the document is and i can um replace that version with the new version of the document and it will automatically update all links to the new document okay because there's two sides to this you know how everybody else sees it and how 
difficult and uh, constrained yeah. it is in, in actually doing it. And that kind of thing's got to, you know, it's, it's always got a double benefit in that it's easier for us and also it makes the likelihood of there being a dead incorrect link on the website much lower okay. mm -hmm. because you're not having to manually go and check these things all the time. It's much more... Um, it's much more helpful to use in that way. Yeah. So it's worth the pain going through that well, transition. <laughs> okay, that's good. Excellent. Excellent. Now, what about 7.2? We said we'd look at those particular pages in detail. I've had a look at those pages. They look good to me. Um, they look much more accessible. Um, we were talking last time about whether we can then link back and so on. I've not done that sort of testing, but because I've not needed to, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Um, in terms of finding the archive and everything else, but it it seems okay to me. Has anybody else got any comments about this? No, no, I think the, you know, like the calendar page yeah. is very user friendly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Way better. Yeah. You know, you just look at them and it's a great idea. I don't see yeah. why most web pages don't do it like this. Mm. Mm. Well, this is like, just one of the custom things that this particular website developer does, so it's yeah. really nice to have that. And they've actually told me, because we've added an archive section with the search function, but I know some councillors have told us that they find it difficult to find things using that. I do wonder if we get rid of that and just use the calendar function, because it's so yeah. good. You the search that to a function here. of so many web pages is horrendous. <laughs> Yeah, so in uh, the organisation I work for, we've always been joking. It's not quite as horrendous as it used to be, but it's still horrendous. If you want to find anything on the internet, rather than use the search function in there, you're much better Googling it and you probably <laughs> find it. Yeah. And that's that's so common with these kinds of websites. So now the search, so the search function now is much better it in that it will draw a lot more results, Yeah, but it doesn't necessarily sort those results very well. Yeah. So that can be a bit, whereas if you go to the committee meetings calendar, because you were, you wanted to know the agenda for the June um, TTE or something, mm -hmm. it actually, even if that was in 2014, it's still actually quite a lot easier to go on the calendar, go to 2014, June, and there it'll be there, yeah. and the minutes and the agenda will be there. So Excellent. I'm tempted to move that over if, if people think that that's a reasonable suggestion, actually just kind of get rid of the archive function. But I think we might need to talk about it a little bit more. If the archive function is taking up space that we need for other things, we just leave it there. I don't, it doesn't take up space, but I wonder if it's confusing, if that's not the best way to find something. Is it worth asking the councillors? We could do that. We could put it around. Give them a choice and see what, see what can they come back with. Yeah. Because it's basically only going to be councillors, probably, who are going to be looking at that archive. Yeah. To make some point. <laughs> back in 19. Um, so, I would say ask the council. So, are we agreed on that? Propose that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So, you're talking about the meetings archive? Yes. So, if you go to council meetings calendar, the one that I've linked on the top one there, that's the easiest way to find old meeting links and agendas. But I've got to meetings archive search. Yes. And that one has a separate way of working. Right. But I don't think it works as well as the calendar does. But what about if you put some explanation there to say you may find, you know, oh, that's a good idea, Martin. Are they in chronological order? Sorry, it's not loading right now from my phone. Um, so when you go through the archive and search, do they come up in chronological order? No, that's the problem with it at the moment. Is that so we can either can ask the developer to keep working on it yeah. and make it so that when we get the search return results, it gives them it prioritizes certain information like search the year that it prioritizes giving you data from that year yeah but then you might end up with having other meetings not just that one meeting time yeah. that you were looking for um or you you will it's need so to difficult. Difficult. there's a lot of like there's a lot of how search engines work yeah. in why yeah. it's difficult if to get a search engine that's really good for this function yeah the kind of only works if you know whether it's a yes if you don't know the meeting was held, you know we made a decision about blah blah. If you if you don't know when that meeting occurred, or even read which meeting it was, which committee it was, you do still need to be able to access. So maybe the search perhaps it makes sense to have in the description on the meetings archive search engine to say if you know the date, you know the yeah. month and year of the meeting you were looking for, we recommend you use the meetings calendar. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah so at the preset meeting of 2018. Yeah. Yeah. We can go to look for that. Yeah. But yeah. Because we know it was in February. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. But if we know we made a policy at some point about I don't know X whatever it is, but don't know when it was made. Sometime in the last five years, you can just search for X and various things will come up. Mm -hmm. Yes, but the older you're looking at the the search engine won't be able to fool the documents because really old minutes and agendas are scanned for the object of the reader. Which case we can't change that. Um, There's nothing we can do about that. that. We know that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can now convert them into text, but that's going to take an awful lot of work. I'm not sure it's sort of all Probably not. Unless suddenly we find that in three months you've three times sought searched for, you know, when you suddenly feel like this. You are constantly searching for particular documents from yonks and can't find them because they are not digitalized. And, and but unless the unless the pain threshold gets high enough, yeah. on this one, I would suggest we do it. I mean, one example was you know me and Warren were discussing about the idea of a fast code search for more than under high work. Yeah, and that is established town council policy. If you could challenge that. I would have to go back into the archive and find out the meeting when that decision was made. I have not got a clue yeah. when that decision was made. I think there's a search on that. It's also something you've never yeah. this week. Yeah, yeah, I know. And people may well know, and if it's a planning decision, Gatham will have several copies of my brain anyway. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So what about other things in search, like, you know, you're saying, the search uh, parameters are difficult because it's all sorts of things. <clears throat> but can you put in must include IA plus sign or don't or a minus sign to say, you know, exclude Martin? I haven't seen with that. Because I, I haven't seen anything, that, you know, on the advanced search, it gives you a whole list of things that you can tick to include, yeah. but doesn't give you any other um, parameters that you can use to exclude or include. I mean, in Google, if you put things in inverted commas, it's got to be. Yeah. It's got exactly, you know, yeah, things like that. I would go to that sort of stand that people mm -hmm. are using elsewhere. Yeah. I would go back to the development bar. All right. Because that would bring things to the top of a search yes, uh, yeah. listing. Yeah. You can do exactly what you were looking for, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, not exactly, but Adam knew some of the parameters which would narrow it down. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Keep it on the agenda. We will look at it again and keep the ongoing discussion. And if there are things that you find after browsing, then let Louise and Bethany know. Copy us in if you feel it's worth it. Yeah, okay. Uh, the analytics, obviously, we've gone back to year zero or year one or whatever. Year zero has other connotations, of course. Yeah, what does that mean? Does that mean this year is year zero or? At the end of this year, it'll be year one. We're currently year, year one. Yes. So it, is, it, is year zero because year of year what? Because we've uh, moved over to a new provider. Yes. Oh, okay. It's right. reset all of our right. analytics. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I didn't know whether it was on a five or 10 year cycle or something. And you just, you know, you never go past that point. You just reset everything. That's a lovely idea, but no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you very much. It's the bit where sort of has somebody tried switching the country off and on again. <laughs> it's kind of a good time to do it anyway, because analytics is one of those pieces of software that changes every few years anyway, and they're just moving into Google Analytics 4, which will be another hard reset to so that they're complying with data protection. Another well, hard reset, really? Yes. Wow. Again. So and all of that analytics you've got, and then dunk. Sorry. Well, so the new government comes in, all the previous government's documents are just stacked in your archives, are removed from the website. Oh. Wow. And the new government comes in. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you a story about the large handle Collider after the meeting about, <laughs> about turning the world off and back on again, but I'll tell you about that anyway. <laughs> it's because it happens. So okay. Um, any more then about the analytics, obviously, for Discover Bucking, which is continuous because that hasn't changed because it worked in the same yeah, way. Yes, it's continuous. The, this is kind of interesting because over the first three years, four countries have always been in their top top five visitors, which is 
the UK, the United States, Canada, and Ireland. Fine, those all make sense. And um, the fifth place has been three different countries in the last three years. So, mm -hmm. so what's company number five then? Oh, France. Yeah, yeah, but if it's tiny little, if they're all much of a muchness, then of course that is what you would expect. So what would it have been last year? It was India last year. Yeah. But no, honestly, I think it's just uh, if they're all very similar, then that is like yeah. small shifts can make the difference, can't they? Relatively small shifts and, and probably interest from possibly connected to the university, actually, they've got. Hmm. And if they're small, fairly small numbers to start with, then that can happen. You know, uh, of course, it can overtake, uh, be overtaken if say, if, say, in sixth place, we have a you know, we have country that we've had 10 visitors from. Next year, we have 11 and they become fifth place. <laughs> Nigeria? I'm surprised Nigeria is not in the list. Yeah, it's you know, there are lots of Nigerian students, and we have obviously Eddie and his extended family. It's an interesting one. Yeah, but they're coming through UK, not Nigeria. Yeah, but no, oh, he's family. Nigerian their students own students way. Way. Yeah. His family. Yeah. His parents were here from their making, and they'd flown over, especially for the making. The numbers aren't quite yeah. that. But, um, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, uh, I shall not comment any further. <laughs> I'll tell you a story about meeting his dad as well. Um, love you, Matt. Later on, too. Yes, they wanted no, lots of pictures. At some point, I had to tell them, I will have pictures with you, but can you just move out of the door? <laughs> <laughs> because there's sort of like 25 people behind you. <laughs> okay, right. I think we're done with 7.3. Is that all right with everyone? Yeah. yeah. Okay, future newsletter. Right, okay. Have we got to make decisions? Because obviously, a lot of it is already set up. We do have to make decisions. So, because we haven't this is our first, our first kind of trial experimental oh, year with just three editions. Yeah. There are certain things that we absolutely have to have in this oh, one. Oh. We'll need extra space for past events. We also need space for introducing the, because we've already introduced a new mayor, but we'll need to introduce the deputy mayor. Mm -hmm. We'll need to introduce the mercy charities. We'll need to do where the money came from and how we spent it from last year, the 22-23 year. Um, so that leaves us with a relatively small three and three quarter pages to think about how we're going to fill. Right. Okay. So we agreed on the deputy mayor and mayor's charity thing on one page. Yeah. That agree. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've yeah. obviously done the mayor's. Yeah, charity. only the mayor's charities. So, deputy mayor doesn't have charities. No. No, no I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't mean to. Oh, that. Yeah. Didn't I read that they were staying the same this year? They are the yeah, same. Yeah. Staying the same. So one page on that. Is it down to two and three quarters? Recorders. Do we need memorial safety inspections again? Uh, we do because we're now at the stage where the inspections have taken place and we're now trying to identify um, the owners of various memorials because a lot of these are extremely old and so the original deed holder, you know, in some cases passed away. We need to find out who it's been handed down to so that repairs can be made. Does it need a whole page? We could ask. Yeah, we, I'm sure we could do less if we think that we don't need a full page. We could do a QR code that links to the website for the full list. I think that would be enough to explain to people. Particularly since it's been in a previous newsletter. Mm -hmm. So it's just an update, isn't it? Yeah. And if people want to read more, here's the link to the web page. It was in the paper, wasn't it, as well? Yeah. Okay, new playground. Again, does that need a whole page? We can try and make that small. Or half yeah. a page? Yeah. I think half the page would work. Nice picture. I think really, it's you want some nice pictures. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's got it's a things lovely, that you can yeah. whisper into the other yeah. as well. Some sand stuff that we've wanted to have in the yeah. town. So it's so a picture and a few lines which just says it's now open. It's wonderful. Come and see it. And it was constructed using extra one or six money because we have to say that I think. Yeah. So. Cemetery development. Wouldn't There's say not, anything much all about that in the next few months. I think we can skip that one. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I think it's safe or not. Until the ground is broken up there, yeah. it's not really going to be moved, is it? No. Okay. And we still, even with Environment Committee next week, I'm not sure whether Lee has got any, you know, a lot of information for us to even make decisions on. So it, it did, I didn't say that, but, you know, he may have by next week, but I'd agree. 
So if we went to half a page with the new playground. Like you used two pages. We used two pages so far, I'm keeping a tally. Yeah, yeah. so we're, we're left with a page and three horses. Mm -hmm. We are. Swan train, we want to, because that's, I mean, that's, isn't that encumbered with things that have happened? Um, past events. I don't think so, but we could try and squeeze it into past events. Because well, there's a lot of past events to cover. Yeah, there is a lot of past events to cover. I think we might need to think about how we summarise them and have a little bit less. But it is worth putting, you know, yeah. just some out nice photos. In. But there has been a lot of media about the Swan Trail, so I think it does deserve okay. at least half a page to well, it. Why don't we say past events is three and a half pages, and therefore that includes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So basically half a page then. Yeah. On the Swan Trail. They're up to 2.5. We've got three quarters of the left. Okay. Um, discover Buckingham website. It's that versus the mayor making the civic awards. So I think Sam put in that request um, just to sort of encourage local businesses and events to contact her if, okay. if they want advertising through the TSC. It's another route to do that. But I think, yeah, I think the mayor making on the awards should take priority over everything. Because it's not something you see everywhere. Very good. Very good. Well, we've got roughly two and a half pages. So we've got one and a quarter pages left. Right. So we the mayor make them go into one page and discover bucking them into a quarter page. Is that going to be enough space to cover the mayor? We could try and do that as a well, the discover Buckingham only almost needs just a very large strap, doesn't it? Really? Mm. I just realised there's something not on this list which should be, which is uh, grant applications. That would normally be a court page. Mm. So, okay. where yeah, we have be... total space available, three and a quarter pages, that's what's left over once all these things are in there. So, we've just... no, that's once. Um, so, the first section is the usual pages, and that's so 16 pages in total. Yeah. The first section, once you put all of that in, it takes you down to nine and three quarters, and then you yeah, go yeah, down. Okay. But with the optional section at the end, we just give a total for how much available there is within that suggested. Oh, right, okay. So we can't yeah, yeah. everything that's there. Okay, so we've got one page left there. We've got one page left because we need a quarter page for grants. So yeah. applications. Yeah. Is that enough? Quarter pages? Yes, yeah, so it normally just goes with sort of a column to one okay. side, right. reminding people to apply. Well, therefore, the one page on the Civic Awards, I guess. I think some of that's going to be matched into all the other yeah. event stuff. That we all, I mean, that's what we do a lot of the time is event stuff, isn't it? So mm -hmm. we shouldn't be promoting that. Those will come around next year. So, so um, one page on the mayor making. I mean, obviously, there are lots of photographs, but they don't all need to be in there. Yeah. And we can link it to a page. On the website with all the you know all the new friends and three three people. Yeah, I really like that idea that you know the papers and us are now doing where you get a summary and a little bit more. And if you want to read more, whoosh, off you go. Yeah, into the ether, and uh, you know you can yeah. read more detail about it if you're that interested in it. Yeah, yeah, it works well, really. Yeah, yeah. For those people that can do it, obviously there are some people that yeah. can't do that. But hey, um, well, we can, we can do the QR code and put the web address underneath it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people can type that in. Well, yeah, but they may not be yeah. Uh, yeah. that but way inclined at all, in which they're scuppered yeah. every which way. <laughs> but I think, you know, we are at a type of transitional stage where we're trying to cut down on using paper, paper yeah. and trying to ask people to well, look we've cut our budgets yeah. more, we've cut our budget more than any other budget has been yeah. cut in the town council to hear about that yeah yeah, yeah. Yay. we, we <laughs> took the biggest hit for a rata but yeah. the smallest hit actually financially <laughs> right. which is a kind of weird so it's, <laughs> it's the smallest budget to start with the smallest budget to start yeah because we're after all talking about paper right <laughs> so can we just <laughs> recap on the I know the cost of the page paper is really Can we recap on the page sizes then? So we know. Yeah, yeah. so recap is for the three and a half quarter pages that we've had outstanding, it's a half page on the deputy. So that's it is, yeah. 
a half page on the mayor's charities, a half page on the memorial safety inspections, a half page on the new playground, a half page on the Swan Trail, um, a quarter page on the grant applications, and one page on the mayor making and civic awards. Does that leave us with half a page? No. No, that's it. No, that's okay. that's 3.75 pages. Okay. Okay. This is what we had left over. Okay. Yeah. So we've actually managed to squeeze it apart from the century development and we squeeze the other things. So we've, yeah. you know, we've done a bit of mm, rejigging there. Okay. And yeah. next year then, will the past events be as large or even larger? It's something that I'm going to have to look at for next year because it is. We've, we've only got three of them. So, yeah. But some are so far past that maybe. I, it's something I'm going to think about before next time and think about how we handle that because it's a little bit awkward that we've ended up with the summer edition. It's obviously very heavily events focused mm. because it's covering replacing the fringe brochure. And then the autumn one is also ends up needing to have a lot of summer coverage. So I think we'll play around with how we do it this time around. And maybe we think of, maybe we present it in a slightly different way. That means it doesn't take up so much space. No, yeah. not 100% how we do that yet. Yeah, but, okay. but we'll look at that. Okay, right, moving on then, folks, we need to have this next discussion. So we don't just need to um, agree a picture for that colour. Oh, do we have options? No, we don't have options in this one. We have options in the next one, but it's so the front cover will usually is an autumnal events one. Okay. So the back cover, if do you want an autumnal art picture or uh, an event that might have happened over the summer? It's, it's just a, for you guys to note, so then there's no chocolates. <laughs> yeah, okay. So Sorry, Ben. Is the dog show in autumn or will it have happened in the summer? No, we won't have time for the dog show because it would have happened in time for this. Oh, yeah. um, okay, fine. So, and we didn't on. have the dog show last year, so we don't yeah. have any particular yeah. photos. Yeah. Uh, something from the Celebrate Buckingham? Yeah, that's a good idea. Lovely. Yeah. I think if there's a photograph, a good photograph from there, yeah. that doesn't matter if it's got obliterated by various future events on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right. Right, um, banner policy. Do you want to explain why we were doing this, Louise? We've had some queries from Council Tanop on this committee who hadn't realised that the new banner policy that we agreed in September, was it? Yeah. Um, means that if you are out of power, you can't put a banner up. Um, that's in the town centre. Um, they asked if John would put it on the agenda for this meeting so that we could discuss it again in the context of whether we were happy that there have been a few cases that we've ended up turning away now or um, whether we thought that that needed to be. What are we talking about when we're talking about banners? You know the fencing over there, castle pens. Okay. Has the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. So it's outside the castle pens and outside the old jail. Yeah. And basically we can have up to two banners at each location at a time. They, in principle, they're, they're only really for events, so single use things, and they have to be within the parish boundary. And mm -hmm. they also can't be commercial advertising, which we can't allow anyway, because that would require planning permission. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And they used to be dominated by open days at Thornborough and A.T. Wood schools, for example. And concert performances. That's and that is a commercial yeah. venue, actually. So those are private schools, aren't they? They're charity. speaking, they're charity. Technically speaking. So it was allowed under the old policy. Um, and yeah. we changed it to put a very tight boundary on. But it does now exclude concerts and things at Stowe. And yeah. they are unhappy, they would. Is but, there something about that the same advertiser can't do it more than once a year or something like that? No, but that probably sets other no, boundaries that we don't like. There's a, I think it's not more than twice in six months. You can what it says. Um, it is more the issue about whether we advertise events that are outside our parish. Mm -hmm. And we became very clear about this is this is our, yeah. our town. Mm -hmm. And we're looking after it. We're putting, you know, the resources into managing these, these, these balance. Um, would would Padbury Council, for example, advertise something happening in Buck here? Mm -hmm. yeah. Have a hunch? Probably not. No. Um, or stone for that matter. Is there no. any stone or spoiled in which we can put things on? I think if there's a quid pro quo, yeah. as far as I know, there isn't a quid pro quo. Obviously, we are the biggest town. 
and we draw in people from all over. Uh, people do from Buckingham go up to the Stone events. I've been there myself. I've got one yeah. I'm going to in, in August. But it's not like it's the only place you can advertise things. No. Uh, there are other, you know, other places you can do that. It's worth mentioning as well that Discover Buckingham, so the Tourist Information Centre does advertise all of these things. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they're very active. Yeah. And media. how about when people put up these things, you know, at the signs to the entrance to Buckingham and on the lampposts, there are all sorts of signs all the time. Do they need permission for that? Um, yes, but that would be from highways and not from us. Okay, so there are other places in Buckingham where they can advertise. Yes, yeah, on the land, most people put up whatever they want to put up. Yeah, yeah, so, and nobody ever no. cares. No. Yeah, so, okay. so we're not stopping them from advertising at all in the town, no. we're just saying not in those two spaces. No, in the social media too. Yeah. yeah. And it was, it was to protect those spaces because they were constantly oversubscribed and we were having sort of local smaller events that couldn't get a space because they were so dominated by people who maybe are a bit bigger, bigger yeah, more, yeah. more media savvy, more yeah. yeah. So, no, I'm, I'm totally so since boring. we changed the policy, mm -hmm. has it been successful for local businesses? Yeah. So Becky is the one who deals yeah. with all of the bookings mm -hmm. and she is happy that actually it's working better. Yeah. So why are we looking at this? Because one councillor knew somebody who wasn't very fed up and they couldn't put their bills right. Okay, well, then I think if it's working successfully for business in Buckingham, then I see it as a bit of a non-issue. Yeah, agreed. Thank you, Rubina. Okay. I still like the idea. I think we ought to keep with our local community, uh, and first of all, and therefore those particular spots in the town centre should be as the policy stands. Yeah. yeah. I was just wondering whether we ought to investigate peripheral um, banner uh, erecting paraphernalia that we could put elsewhere that people... We don't really have the options on that. It's, you know, Bethany manages the ones... On the in town, town, yes. In town. But we're not going to get, you know, people, I mean, they put up, you know, there are sponsorship events that, you know, they erect signs for that are sponsored by and the local stage and so whatever, and they get permission to do that from the Shire Council. But we don't want to be expanding them. All right. Yeah. Um, thought, that's more resources. More yeah, true. Okay. That are outside. Essentially, it's entrepreneurial based, isn't it? Yeah. And I also see that if a business wants to promote whatever, then it's up to them to find out where where they're allowed to, you know, yeah. if it's yeah, yeah. outside Buckingham or the periphery, then that's their job yeah. to find out where they can advertise. Um, our policy is simple then, you know, promote local Buckingham businesses. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. They also, so when I, when this was changed and I sent emails to the ones that were, you know, the main people who used those spaces that were actually outside the parish, everyone was fine with it and they said, well, we directed them to discover Buckingham and they were more than happy with that. But there's been a few that obviously didn't know and they were still happy with it, not a problem. But I also, in my emails, do say if they ask, where else can we put them up? Yeah. I do say, you know, you have to contact Buckingham Share for the sort of and oh, taxes, yeah. um, but you can also contact other local organisations, maybe the cricket club, if you're yeah. in the cricket club, maybe the tennis club, maybe the vault, you know. So there's some people who they know in town, but they may not know who to contact. They don't give their details, but I do, you know, just give them a little heads up if they need yeah. it. So it, it's okay. not like a full shutdown, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Which is very reasonable. I think it's very okay. I'm going to move us on because we finish the agenda quickly. That would be great. I think the consensus seems to be that we've reviewed the policy and we're okay with it. Yeah, yeah. Is that agreed yeah. by everybody? Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we'll see how it goes. But thank you, Bethany, for your insights because we used to. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay. All right. Move on from there. This is a guide um, that's in the middle of the table, upside down. Uh, this is a little what did you want us to say about this? So this came from the Tourist Information Centre. They wanted to, rather than just reprint, update some of their flyers. It's been paid for from our um, in Mark Reserve, the tourism leaflets one. So I think 
last to have a look at that before it went to the It's been yeah. redone to just say this is nearly 12 years ago to say it fucking tourist information centre is a, a visitor centre and there's just some little things that have changed over the years and the map's been updated. Yeah, yeah, take care. Take care. Bye. And and the logos have been changed, a few nice new, like unvaluated, you know, not very pixelated photos have been added in. Um, but the bulk of it is the same. There's yeah. a few design bits that have changed and obviously texture and stuff. Just so it's exactly accurate now, then it's about the existing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's got our logo on it and everything else. Yeah. Yeah. So given that we pay for all of this, as it were. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, on this page here, got the discover Buckingham, I would also put in the logo somewhere on, on this page too. Mm. Yeah. But it's 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 there on the front page. I'd put it on all the other pages somewhere, somehow. Yeah, to keep reminding people, yeah, that, you know that this is a facility that, if they're a resident of the town, that they are paying for, and people are coming in from outside. No, it's paid for out of yeah local council tax. Good points. But on the whole, the whole site on the whole, I think it looks great. I think it looks great. I think the picture's great. The town. Gives a nice impression. But the railway circular walk, yeah. And a QR code will be added to the front to direct them to the online version, but we couldn't do that before the agenda went out because obviously we wanted to agree that and yeah, get that sure. in the printed version. Okay. Any other okay. comments? I like the uh, fading of the picture into some of the wording. Maybe we could use that on some of ours. Mm. Um, and also, the picture of the old jail looks a bit as though it's been squashed in the wrong way a bit. It, it is on this, um, it won't on the, it's just how it's formatted. Okay. Then I couldn't change that page. Right, that's fine, but it's. <laughs> but no. Well, no, that's just the. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, the extra thing will be full A, A3. They can squeeze it out, will it? No, I don't it, think so. It, so this, so that picture will fill it. It's just got a border around it, and it's still in the parameters of the, the sort of cut off line, if you will. Okay. okay. But it will be the right proportions. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, when is it going to be? Are we signing it off today? Signing it off today, and then we can order the new one. I'm happy to sign it off with those amendments. Yeah. No, okay with that, Martin? Yes. I'm just wondering whether they had all the car parks on there, because it just talks about shopping, and it roughly speaks about the Royal Meadows 300 space car park. But of course, we do have other car parks. There is, so the map is still being added to at the moment, <laughs> and it will get really it's the base of it and the bulk of everything especially the text-wise and pictures that you were happy with. But yes, when that's been done, Sam and I have still said, oh yeah, we need to add this extra car park, this extra car park, but we know that, that the map is obviously, because it's been expanded over 10 years, um, that would be the most updated map with all that information. Yeah. It's going to be the same map as this, or are we using a new map? No, it will be, it will be the similar, it will be the same background of the map, but, but just with the other bits added on. Okay. All right, so what's, what's, the, what's the print run going to be? Um, what's the print run going to be? Um, we did agree that previously, so I can look it up if you want to know. I think it was 3,000. 3,000 or something? Go on, what's no, I was saying about three, wasn't it about 3,000? Okay. Oh, I'm just thinking if there is a time where we'll start with it. Well, yes, but... but 3,000. <laughs> so... Yeah. I like the uh, typeface. It, it's clear. It, it's, it's good. It's, it's, it stands out nicely. Sorry, it's 5,000. 5,000, okay. We'll have them for a while. 
and there will be a digital version that people can access and therefore people can expand and read more easily as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, of course, as you keep on looking at things, you've got the attractions and you've got the uh, Tourist Information Centre in bold telephone number, but under shop mobility, that number is not in bold. Okay. Um, so if we can maybe make those stand out, be um, similar. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. Done. Agreed. Print. Well, what do you better than the Yes. <laughs> Who's doing this? Uh, it's been Sam and Sam and myself. All right, you've got InDesign. Well, I found the, wow. I actually managed to find who created this PDF and who gave it to me. So we've been editing it and I obviously contacted him for certain little bits that okay. Yeah, they can really help. <laughs> Good. Thank you for all that detailed work, really, because I know it's a bit daunting. For some reason I've lost the rest of my talk. Yeah, 11 were on. I, I know we're talking about general, just my piece is now blank for some reason. <laughs> press releases, they all seem fine to me when I looked at them earlier on. Any comments about the press releases? They're basically for no time. They are what yeah. they are. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right. Chairs yeah. items. I do not have any chairs items. I assume you do. But you chairs items. I don't think I have any chairs items. I would say, you can go for another year. What about attendees? Are we still on the hunt? Well, we're always on the hunt. <laughs> I mean, we've lost Sue, uh, who was with us for a few months last year. Um, no, given that it's you know we, we need we, three, we, don't we? We yeah, we, we're okay. Yeah, we need yeah. three. So I'm we saying we can five, we can lose five. we can lose two out of yeah we're out of the five. It's sustainable at the moment. Yeah, okay. Uh, and we're still for it even now with yeah. yeah. So I think we're small and perfectly formed, and we and we <laughs> and we um, and we make it work. And little does the uh, rest of the council know how important the stuff is that we do That's because we are the shop window. Yeah, the town council for most people, and we're efficient. Yes, we are. We've got for the agenda in less than hour time for your come. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, chairs items, I have none beyond beyond that discussion. There, Martin, thank you very much for that. Uh, we are meeting again on the twentieth via Zoom. Oh, is it via Zoom? It is via Zoom on okay. the twentieth, um, and twentieth of July. July. Okay. Is that the right time, Joanne? Well, we had much to discuss. Uh, it's a little earlier than we would normally do because we normally struggle for quality at the end of July when we want to be looking at the articles for the um, September newsletter. We just looked at the articles for September. No, no, we'll have them in the written ones. Oh, I see. You review the other I'm over. Okay, got it. Fine. Okay. All right. And are any of us writing any of those articles? I don't yeah, think the uh, office. Yeah. My office. Okay. okay, in which case we are fine. Thank you very much for.